Hi everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Angel. And I'm Lucida. And we're Trimmed Flames Rx. We're here to bring you a reading for the week of November 20th through the 27th, 2016. So we're going to be doing a Divine Feminine three card spread, a Divine Masculine three card spread, and a partnership or how they relate to each other three card spread. All right, so this is the Divine Feminine past present and future so this is in the very recent past the divine feminine was very strong in waiting for this partnership or this union or oh. this relationship with her twin flame to come to pass and now presently in this week the divine feminine is feeling that she might be ready to give up but if you look behind her, she still has two cups standing. Three cups may have fallen, but two cups are still remaining. So this means that there's still more to pursue in this possible relationship, in this connection, so don't give up. In the very um, near future, the Divine Feminine is going to be the Queen of Swords. So this means that she'll be very strong and she'll be very succinct with her words and her communication toward her Divine Masculine, but it would be for the greater good. All right, so now this is the Masculine, past, present, and future. In the recent past, the Divine Masculine looks like he is springing forth lots of new ideas, new ideas for the partnership, new ideas for the mission between himself and the Divine Feminine Energy, it looks to me that he's moving towards his Twin Flame. Presently, the Divine Masculine gets the Ace of Wands, so this means that he's really ready for, in his mind, for this partnership. He's really ready for union with his Twin Flame. It's just a matter of time before he puts his ideas into action. And in the very near future, the Divine Masculine is going to go through some important changes that will make him ready to be with the Divine Feminine. So even though this card looks like it's a, just a death, it's also a rebirth, a rebirth with just into a new existence, a rebirth of ideas, a rebirth of life. So it's not it's not truly a death, but it's a new beginning. Right, and this is how they relate to each other, past, present, and future. So in the very recent past, we have the Hierophant card. So this card usually symbolizes um, marriage. So this could mean that in the recent past, the two of the... Um, Twin Flames have thought about their connection and that they were spiritually connected with each other. It could also mean other things, like in the recent past, one of the feminine or the masculine or both had to leave behind some sort of commitment or marriage with another individual. And another meaning for this card is wisdom. So both of them have been bestowed with wisdom, especially with this last 1111 portal and the supermoon, new energies have brought new ideas and um, just new dreams for the pair. So presently we have the Page of Swords. So it looks like for the both, the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, even though they're not quite ready for what's next in their partnership, the two of them are going to come toward each other with some sort of action this week. So whether it be some sort of message, communication, or just each of them on their own doing something positive so that they can be together in the future, this week is the time for that. And our last card here is the card for the near future. So the near future, it looks like for the two, they'll be remembering old times, maybe old times together, reminiscing and thinking about 
the great times they had together in the past and wanting that again. So this week will be, there will be a lot of changes. It looks like the Divine Masculine will be making some changes that will be conducive to union. And the both of them have gained new wisdom this week and they are thinking about great times they've had together in the past and wanting that again. And again, the Divine Feminine, even though she might feel a little saddened this week, she's going to gain strength again like she had last week. So all in all, this is a very positive reading for the partnership. We have some Oracle cards that we'd like to share with you. So the Butterfly Oracle says... Sobriety. So this could mean that either one or both of the partners, one or both of the Twin Flames, um, may need to kick a bad habit, and that could be what the Divine Masculine is struggling with this week. And we have an angel message. It's the Shanti card. So, I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. That sounds really positive. So if you were struggling this week or last week, in the next few weeks, it looks like if you talk to your angel guides, they will give you um, help on your journey and make it easier for you. And now we have an Archangel Michael Oracle message. So this is the energy healing work. And I guess we'll end this with a little prayer. Um, thank you for sending healing energy to me and through me for my own blessing and for all those around me. Thank you for connecting me to loving and high integrity healers and teaching of energy holding modalities. Amen. Amen.